Get the most recent Internet Explorer download from Google? Microsoft at the time made a decision to savage its competitors by adding its Internet Explorer in Windows OS, hence obviating any kind of need anybody will have to look somewhere else for a browser. And therein lies the problem. If you have Windows XP, you are quite simply going to have nothing more recent than Internet Explorer 6 built automatically on your computer. Why can't individuals download an update to come up to speed? The theory is that they can. But many individuals have automatic updates turned off in Windows and don't even understand what precisely a web browser is, leave alone why they should upgrade. But hold on there, are people truly that naive that they don't know what a web browser is? There's an intriguing impromptu survey published on YouTube about a guy going about Times Square, questioning people just what web browser they often use. Many of them have responses such as, well, I just use Yahoo. Everyone taking part with the internet creating websites finds this definitely annoying. All the newest internet programs as well as whizbang feature-laden websites around find it very hard to work effectively on an obsolete web browser like version 6 of Internet Explorer. It takes a myriad of encoding acrobatics for website designers to have everything to operate effectively across all the old versions of Internet Explorer and the latest also, and they cannot wait to find out the back of it. So if no one can get people to go to the hassle of a new Internet Explorer download for the latest version 8, much less download a contending web browser such as Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, Internet specialists feel. Maybe a bit sneakiness would be the best way people may have difficulty knowing the necessity to download a brand new browser, or perhaps comprehending what on earth that means. But there is another thing which everyone has to download which they have no issues with, the Adobe Flash plugin. This specific internet standard allows surfers to display websites that have vibrant video-like elegant features embedded. And Adobe has managed to get almost all online users around the world to install this up to 80%. Evidently in case you call it a plug-in, men and women find it a lot more palatable. The people over at Google have an especially difficult time with people who wouldn't download the newest internet browser. It means that nobody will be able to use their Google Docs or any of a number of other services. Thus they've come up with this bright concept. If you cannot encourage people to go to the trouble of a new Internet Explorer download, or a brand new Internet browser download, just inform them to add a plugin to best use of a new Internet site. Once they select Yes, simply go on and get out all the insights of Internet Explorer, install the functionality of Google Chrome inside Internet Explorer, and enjoy it dance. It nevertheless looks like Internet Explorer version 6 but it certainly doesn't behave like it. They refer to this as plug-in Chrome Frame. Well, exactly why is Google carrying out this great thing for Microsoft for nothing in return? It is just that Chrome is not a moneymaker for Google. They are handing it out away free of charge anyway. Google merely wants everybody to experience a fast web browser to ensure that they could experience all the other things that Google has that do make it a good fortune. Google Maps would be one of these. So long as you are able to log on to Google's myriad of services and click on add or two while you're there, they are content. 